Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm reviewing not one but two dolls from Nooney Dolls. Now Nooney Dolls is a new um, artist out of Spain. My friend Doll Museum Project got one and I thought she was really cute and now I have two of them here so I want to show them to you guys um, and we're just going to open them and review them together and check them out. These are 3D printed dolls um, printed out of eco-friendly resin, which I love that. You know, I haven't really looked into what does eco-friendly resin mean, but I know that's been a big topic lately about different resins and the environmental impact they have and stuff like that. So here is the package. Look how cute. This is a snake skin box, and there's the logo, Nooney Dolls very adorable and the one that doll museum project got was really 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 stunning and so i'm really excited to open her up and check her out so this is her oh she's bigger than i thought she was gonna be and you know what alicia said that in her video like she was big but you still don't get a concept of how big a doll is until you hold it in your hands I love this wrapping. This is really cute and it seems like a, a, a very eco-friendly sort of wrap. So we're gonna open her up and check her out. Oh my word. She looks really cool just through the wrapping. I haven't seen her yet. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. Okay, let's check her out. All right. I see that she has pink hair, which is really exciting. Okay. Oh, wow. She is really cool. I can already tell. <gasps> oh, y'all. Wow. This is too cool. Look at her. Sh <gasps> oh, wow. She is like a galaxy girl. Check this out. Check that out. So she is like a galaxy girl. She's painted in this galactic style. Oh, I love, and the pink wig. She's got um, a, a, um, a tattoo on her forehead of a planet. Oh, wow, y'all. Oh, she is too cool. So I'm trying to figure out if this is painted, I think the black parts are painted or if they're actually like the resin itself is dyed. I think they're painted. So she came with this cute handmade stand. I love this um, with the copper wire and the um, like the, the stand part is also like galaxy painted. So that is really cute. Oh, she is so cute. Like I love this look. This is too cool. I don't know what size clothes she's gonna wear. I'm gonna have to dig into my stash and figure out what she can wear. But here she is. The resin feels really nice. It's a 3D resin, the whole doll is 3D resin printed. She's done a really great job sanding her down and um, smoothing out all the ridges because I don't really see any ridges or any um, spots there for the sanding. She does have a double jointed knee. So you can move that knee in two directions. Let's see, let me get the other one there. There we go. So you can do the, the double jointed knee and then, oh wow. She's got a nice range of motion. So these dolls are, it's really cool because this is like her first, her first iteration of her doll and the doll is 3D sculpted. She reminds me of, she kind of has like this you know, like the fashion dolls we grew up with, that kind of aesthetic with like, well, I didn't grow up with them, but like ever after high, I kind of get that face shape from her. And I really like that face shape. Um, so I think that's really cool. But um, wow, she is adorable. I just, I like her shape. Like she's really, so you can see her arms are strung here. So she's got stringing there um, between her arms and then she's got stringing in her legs. And it's actually, it's a black cording through her legs, which is cool because it, she's got that galaxy black and white vibe. Oh, how awesome. Like, she's really cute. Really, really cute. And the hands are really delicate. So if you look at the hands, they're like really delicate hands and they, they move really well. 
And so I think that's gonna be fun for posing. Let's see, and this is double jointed so you can move all this around. I'm really interested to see what size clothes she fits in. I'm gonna be um, kind of excited to see that. But I guess her resin color is like a white resin color. And then she's, um, yeah, so I think this is like a white resin color. Let's open the other girl out and check her out as well. And then let's open the other doll from Noonie Dolls. Um, There we go again, Nini dolls. And this one's wrapped in really nice paper. So let's check this out. All right, so I've got an open here message. That's always fun. Open here. Here we go. And, oh, we've got a little oh look at her wig oh i love that it's pink and purple that's beautiful i love that color so we got a wig um that was in here and then is this a coa this is a let's see snooney dolls and i'll link all her information below these dolls are really modestly priced um, it is her first doll, and so I think that's cool. Like if you're looking to try customizing for the first time or something like that, I think it's really cool for that. It's cool for longtime collectors too, like me. I really like the shape and size of this doll. That's gonna be, she's gonna be really an interesting piece to have in my collection. Um, and she's gonna fit well with my other stuff. So, oh, we've got a pair of handmade shoes from her. Nini dolls wear espadrias. I hope I said that right. They're shoes with a spark those souls, a plant that grows only in Mediterranean areas. In Europe, the first manuscript that talks about them is a document written in Catalan from 1322 that calls them espardines. In Mallorca, they are also very traditional and together with the fabric of flames, the design is very attractive among Mallorcans. That's really cool. So we got a pair of shoes and then we've got Oh, look at this outfit. Oh, this is too cute. I love this. Okay, so the clothing for Noonie dolls is made of Fabric of Flames print. Fabric of Flames is a traditional fabric from the island of Mallorca, Spain. The name refers to designs that resemble flames or tongues of fire that have their origin in Eastern Ecat, a technique in which the thread is dyed before being woven. How cute is this outfit? Oh my word. That is adorable. Oh, I love that. This whole ensemble is like perfect. So let's check out this doll. Very excited to open her as well. Let's see. Oh, here's the certificate. Here we go. I just wanna check this out. So we've got, that's really nice. How she's got the certificate here. Let's see, I'm a Noonie Dolls, a doll easy to customize. I'm using a one quarter scale wig, 18 to 19 centimeters and one six shoes. So she uses USD shoes. This is my Noonie Dolls DIY box. So I am also customized by Noria. Ask her to customize me as you want. That's really cool. That is really cool. Okay, so I love that. That's a really nice certificate there. And it kind of like, th that's the idea with this doll is to have a doll that people can customize. And so I like that. Okay, so let's check her out and set the box here and then we'll get this one opened. And I like the big head look, you guys know, like I've been into Blythe. And I think it's a fun look because it's it's just nice to be able to, you know, show, like showcase your eyes and things like that with with the bigger head. And I really like that. So she's also got a nice um, little red, little um, wooden uh, stand. Oh, how cute! So let's get her open. Oh, she's really sweet. Super sweet. Okay, so here she is. 
And she's also 3D printed in eco resin. So there she she is. Now her feet are strung through. The other one had the hooks through, but these are strung. So I think she's changed a little bit. She told me she had been doing a little bit of like editing on her file. Oh, this girl's adorable. I love her. I'm gonna dress her real quick in the outfit that she sent, and then we'll have a look at her. Okay, there she is in her outfit. That is super cute. And then I'm gonna put her little shoes on her feet. Let's see. This is too cute. Oh, she's a little Mallorca girl. How adorable. And then we'll do her wig last. That is super cute. Let me see if I can get her to stand. I'll be surprised if she can, but because her legs are, she's got that big head, kind of like Blythe. You know how Blythe doesn't really stand with those proportions, so. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna fold. All right, let's put her wig on and check her out. She is so cute. Oh, look at her. She's like the perfect little pinky girl. She's so pink and like so cute and pastel and just really adorable. Really, really adorable. Check her out. Oh, she's so cute. Now this one is more, um, like you can tell more on her. She's 3D printed. She's got a little more ridges and stuff. So I think, um, but that's kind of the fun, the fun with some of these dolls is they are really made for you to customize. They're not particularly, um, I need to glue this wig on probably. They're not particularly made um, like to be as artist sets, I don't think. Like it's more for you to customize if you like customizing. And so you can have fun with it and just kind of do what you want with it. I love this outfit, the Mallorca outfit. I think she looks really cute. And it's really cool to have an early doll. That's one of the things about artists like there's a lot of artists I wish I had discovered when they were early in their doll making careers because I would like to have had, you know, early dolls from them and I unfortunately didn't ever get that opportunity. And so it's really cool when you discover an artist when they're new and you're able to get one of their earlier creations because inevitably as artists get better and as time goes on, the, the creations get more expensive and they get harder to, to get. And so I really like that I was able to get a couple of her first dolls. All right, so there you have it. There are my two Noonie dolls. I will leave the artist information below. You guys should definitely check her out. She doesn't have anything available right now in her Etsy shop, but she's planning to restock it sometime in October. I think printing all this stuff, I think resin's kind of hard to get right now, and um, doing all this stuff makes, you know, it's hard to, and as an artist, you have other things you have to do, right? You can't it's hard to keep things in stock sometimes, but I just wanted to show you these guys, these dolls, because I think they're really cute, and I think it's really cool to have like one of the first dolls from a new artist. And I'll also leave Doll Museum Project's Instagram below in case you guys, she did an Instagram um, reel on her doll if you guys want to check that out. But I'm real, I think they're really adorable. They're really cute dolls. I love the eco-friendly resin. I like the resin on this doll better. I don't know if it's a different type of resin that she used, um, but this doll feels like a little heavier and more substantial than this doll. So anyway, um, guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, and Shira Star Hobby. 
Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the description box. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. And this is her first stall, like she's, whoops.